Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here from MacTech Keyboards, and today we're taking a quick look at some keycaps that I'm going to be using in a new uh, series of videos that I plan to release, but I'm going to be doing, it's going to take me a while before I actually have something to release because of the format. I'm going to have kind of an overview of different sections about mechanical keyboards, and then each overview will have its own individual video to do more in depth. So I'm going to have some builds, some that are already going to be built, some that I'm going to build in the process of making these videos to show different mods, to show the different parts of the keyboard. Basically I'm just going to be collecting um, a lot of the questions that are asked on a regular basis and maybe even some that aren't asked that often but are still important and try to answer as much of those general questions as I can for newcomers into the hobby. So, but uh, as as time, it's gonna like I said, it's gonna take me a while. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of production into it. It's not gonna be all slick and everything, but uh, hopefully it will answer questions. I mean, and that's that's my primary, um, you know, mission is to make sure that it it serves as something useful to people entering the hobby and even some that may have been in the hobby for a minute but just haven't asked questions. Some of us. You know, it's hard for some of us sometimes to ask questions, especially if we're self-taught. Uh, we'd like to try to figure it out ourselves. I know I probably should have asked more questions, but sometimes, uh, well, as in any hobby, sometimes there's the people that are like, oh, you should know that. Well, just because you've been in the hobby for years and I haven't, you know, teach me. Anyway, long story short, I reached out to KP Republic and I said, hey, I'm going to be doing some uh, builds. And for this video series, and I was wondering if I could get some of your Ghost Judges keycaps because I did get a set of um, white on black, I believe, uh, that I loaded on the CSTC 75 build. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's kit number five when you pick it, I think it's like $83, but it's the keyboard kit, switches, and one of these sets of keycaps. And I believe it was last week that they were on sale for, I want to say $36, maybe cheaper, but on Amazon, because you can get them through Amazon, you can get them directly from KP Republic. When I first got these keycaps with the CSTC build, I had not heard of Ghost Judges, and as far as I know, KP Republic is the only ones that sell them, at least internationally, or out of their domestic market. But I gotta be honest, I wasn't expecting, you know, anything phenomenal. I figured they'd be all, oh, okay, but when I got them, I was very surprised. So first off, there is plenty of keycaps. Um, one of the things that I love about, about keycap sets like this is that not only do they include plenty of extras, you know, if you want a different escape color, if you need, you know, different sizes for different layouts. If you have Alice keyboards, they have the split keys. And they also have ISO. And they're double shot. Fully double shot, not just double shot at the top, but fully double shot. And they're kidding is honestly, I cannot find defects with it. I'm, I mean, a lot of people use it as a joke, but I really have OCD. And that's why the DCX uh, keycap set, as soon as I got it, I was like, uh, uh, there was a Akko keycap set that their modifiers had different casing. I saw that right away. It was literally like the keycap was a different color. So on these keycaps, uh, the legends are very clean. They're, they just look right. Don't get me wrong, I'd love them bigger, but this is the standard cherry uh, layout. But again, these, these keycaps are not only, I mean, they just, if there's any mold markings, they're, they're very slight. And they're always on the underneath. I mean, that's, See, once you turn it, you can't even notice. 
So, I mean, they're just nice keycaps. And for the number of keycaps that I've bought, um, I have, I bought one GMK set a while ago when I first started. I was like, oh, it must be. And I really was not impressed. I mean, from the packaging to the keycaps. I mean, they just, they weren't anything... I don't know. At that point, I'd already bought some, you know, double shot ABS keycaps from uh, Young Kui. Uh, Young Kui is, is, you know, sets that I like. But even comparing those to these, I, I, I mean, I've been using the white on black on one of my, well, currently one of my favorite kits. The NJ68 Pro. Now I do have a mix of keycaps on here. But they're they're nice looking. This is a, I'm, obviously I'm using several different sets here. But the one that I've got was the white on black. And I think I actually I got another set because, like I said, I, I got this used up and those are going in new builds. But I've been really happy with how they sound and how they feel. I almost I mean I don't know what the manufacturing process is, on this, but it almost looks like. They are new based on how nicely they come out. I mean, they're just so clean. I've always heard that the banding is not good, and that's what I saw in the GMK caps, which I'm not trying to say the GMK are, are not good keycaps. I just think they're too expensive for what you get. If they were in stock at a different price, and like below 100 well, then... And yes, I know that Drop has GMK Sun. That's like a... Does, it's not a very complete kit. Um, I have a keyboard that this one of the, any one of these sets would not fit. I mean, okay, yes, the AK-33, but is there a keycap set for the AJAZZ AK-33? Unless it's just the stock AJAZZ AK-33 keycap set. Uh, although, I mean, I did do the Z88s recently. And I think they have a 1.5 shift. Although, wow, actually this one, that one actually would work. Wow. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's pretty complete. So yeah, I think that every keyboard that I own, obviously except for Alps and some of the older uh, ones and some membranes. Yes, I have some membrane keyboards. So uh, the ISO and the splits, I mean, I only got a couple of Alice keyboards, but it's always nice to have. Please excuse the cat. He's bored, and he wants somebody to play with him. Um, so I'm probably going to have to do that soon. But let me finish this up. So yeah, so you've got and you've got plenty of uh, ISO. I'm just going to guess it's a general ISO, not a particular uh, region, sub-region. But you got the different uh, colors. We don't have the novelties, but what we're dealing with are just color, color points. So, yep, 1.5, 1.5 millimeters. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Like I said, these keycaps went on sale. They may still be on sale. I'm not sure on Amazon for 36 bucks. Uh, I mean, they're listed at the regular price, 46, I think. Why, why don't I just look it up? Normally list for forty two ninety nine, which So yeah, these are really well made. They're PBT. They have a nice texture. And the kitting on them is, I think, very nice. I mean...
In some of these, you actually have to look hard for the mold marks because they're almost invisible. There we go, a little better. This one's called Dim Lit. Um, kind of looks like it's a dusk. I can't keep up with all the names, but there's the marking on that one. And you even got some blank ones. You should just want to blank out some keys. Yeah, I gotta say, quite nice looking, and I can't wait to get them loaded up on some brand new build. And this is the ever so popular white on black. I'm pretty sure I have this in practically all the profiles out there. But maybe I don't think I have it in XDA. I have to fix that. So, yeah, nice crisp lettering. Just nice feeling keycaps. Just so many keys. I almost want to go and load these up on that C88 because it looks like it has the shift key for that. That's pretty nutty. I gotta say. We also have two sets of arrow colors for all of them. We've got uh, the alternate, um, alternating colors for the function rows. Got again the splits. And last but certainly not least, Sakura. This is like a light pink, like light, light peach pink, and this is more of a hotter pink. And they've got cherry red, almost like a wine red legend. Uh, I got a, a pink keyboard that's calling this keycap set's name. I know I need to do more color contrast, but I'm more matching. I, don't know. I know there's two different styles. But my wife's much better at doing color matching and you know compot or color wheel colors. You know they complement each other. So anyway, like I said, I, I just wanted to do a quick overview of these keycaps. I did do more of a sound. I did do a sound test with the CSTC 75 build, um, and these keycaps are going to be upcoming in my in my new uh, series. It's going to take me a little while, like I said, because I I got to put them together, and then I got to put the overview, and then I got to run it by several people so that I can make sure that I'm getting everything right and I'm not missing anything that could be important. Um, primarily the other uh, mods for our budget keys. It's a really great community and uh, I love everyone over there. So anyway, until next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.